In this video, I'd like to talk about the complete solutions to two variable equations. And you might remember if you have some, let's just say random two variable equation where you have an x and a y, that there are actually an infinite amount of solutions to this. For instance, you can pick any x value you want, let's say one, and if you plug it in here, it will evaluate to some unique y value. So two times one is two, plus one gives you three, or let's say you wanted to put in 10. Two times 10 is 20, plus one gives you 21. So no matter what x value you choose, there is a corresponding y value that is associated with it. And in fact, these two variable equations in this case, these are linear, so this would actually create a straight line if we were to graph these. Though I should mention, most two variable equations are not linear, it's just these are the simplest cases, and so they happen to be simpler than most. So with these questions, we're gonna be given some coordinate pair where either the x value or the y value is missing. Remember, x goes first, then y. So let me first rewrite the equation they give us. We have y plus two is minus three times x minus four. And we need to find the missing value in the solution to this equation. So again, this is just one of the solutions where the y value is negative two, and we don't know what the x value is. In fact, that's what we're trying to find. So I'll rewrite that, we're missing x. That's what we're trying to find, and we know the y value is negative two, since you write y second. So we can just plug in this value of negative two into our equation and then solve it for x. Because if we substitute y for a number, then we have an equation which only involves x. So let's actually plug that in. So we'll say that y is negative two, and our goal is to find x. Let me just make a little room so you can work on this. And we'll plug this in right here. So you get minus two plus two is minus three times this expression in parentheses, but I'm going to distribute this because we wanna get x by itself so that we can solve the equation for it. So when we distribute the minus three to the x, it just becomes minus three x, and minus three times minus four would be a positive 12. So now our goal is to figure out what x is, so we just need to simplify. Minus two plus two, that's just zero. And so you get minus three x plus 12 on the right side. Now from here, to get x by itself, we wanna get rid of the addition by 12, so we can cancel that out with subtraction. So we subtract 12 on each side, so you get minus 12, since zero minus 12 is negative 12. And over here, you get a minus three x. And lastly, we wanna get rid of this multiplication by negative three, so we will divide each side by negative three. Minus three over minus three, that's just one, so you just get one x, or x. 12 divided by three is four, and you have a negative divided by a negative, which would cancel out and give you a positive. So four would be the missing value in this solution set. Now, you can check this by plugging in both numbers at the same time, and it should evaluate to something that's true. So we think that the solution is at minus two comma four, so if we just plug both those in to the equation y plus two is minus three times x minus four, it should, like I said, evaluate to something that's always true, like either one equals one or zero equals, excuse me, zero. Those are always true no matter what x and y are. So we plug these in, this is x, this is y, actually, I apologize, I switched those, so let me just erase those. So once these are switched, the x value is four and the y value is negative two. So you get minus two plus two is minus three times x, which is four minus four. So that's zero, and over here, this is zero. So you get minus three times zero. And so this simplifies to zero equals zero. And since we got back something that's always true and does make sense, then we can feel confident that this is in fact the right solution. So x is equal to four in this solution set here. So that's the main idea. We're just gonna find that missing value in the coordinate pair. And we'll move on to the next equation, but the strategy is gonna be the same. 
Notice we're given the coordinate pair 8, comma, blank, where we know the x value, but we don't know what y is equal to. That's our mystery. And we're also given this equation, 5x minus 2y is 30. And we need to find the missing value in the solution. So we need to find that y value. But we know that x is equal to 8. So we can plug that in anywhere we see an x and then just simplify. So you get 5 times 8 minus 2y equals 30. And now we have an equation where we just have y. So we can solve for that. So I'll simplify this because 5 times 8 is 40. And minus 2y equals 30. So we need to get y by itself. So let's subtract the 40 on each side so that it cancels out here. You get minus 2y. 30 minus 40 is negative 10. And then cancel out that minus 2 by using division. So minus 2 divided by minus 2, that's just 1. So you get y is negative divided by negative is positive, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So y should equal 5. So that's our missing value, and we can plug that in here. And we do want to check it. With all of these, you want to make sure. So just plug in your coordinate point, 8, comma 5, which is what you think is the solution. And so if we plug this in for x and this in for y, we should get back something that's true. Or in fact, this left-hand side should simplify to 30. So you get 5 times 8 minus 2 times 5, and that's 40 minus 10, which is 30. So when we checked it, we got back exactly what we expected, which means we can feel confident that this is definitely the right answer. So let's keep going. We'll do a couple more of these. And again, we just have this equation, y is 3x minus 7, and a coordinate pair where we're given the x value, but we're missing the y value. So we can plug what we do know into the equation, that x is 1. So anywhere we see an x, we're going to plug in 1. So y would be 3 times 1 minus 7. 3 times 1 is 3, minus 7 would give you negative 4. So we think it goes through the pair, the coordinate pair, 1, comma, minus 4. But now we're going to check our work, and we're going to plug that into our equation. So this is x, and this is y. So we'll set x to 1 and y to minus 4. And so you get minus 4 is 3 times 1 minus 7. But this just becomes 3 minus 7, which is negative 4. So you get something that's always true, which means you can feel confident that this is the right answer. And so you would put in minus 4 inside your box for y. So we'll do this final question. It's the same type of equation or same type of problem where we're given this equation and we're asked to find the missing value in the solution. So we don't know x this time, but we know that y is negative 4. So we're going to use that piece of information. We'll just set y equal to minus 4. And anywhere we see a y, we're going to plug it in. And then we can solve for x. So you get 6x plus 7 times minus 4 for y. is equal to 4x plus 4 times minus 4 for y. And we'll work up here. You got 6x. This is minus 28. And you got 4x minus 16. Now we want to get all the x's together, so I'm going to move them to the left side because there's more x's. So I will subtract 4x on each side, and you get 2x minus 28 is minus 16. Now add the 28 to both sides so that you can solve for x, isolate the x term. So 2x is 14, or excuse me, 12, since 8 minus 6 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. And then divide everything by 2 to cancel that multiplication, and you get x is 6. So again, that's what we think the value is, but to check it, we'd have to plug them both in. So let me make some room and go ahead and do that for you. So we think the solution is 6 minus 4. So x is 6 and y is negative 4. So we plug those in. You get 6 times 6 plus 7 times minus 4. And this should be equal, let me make just a bit more room, this should be equal to 4 times 6 plus 4 times minus 4. And now we can just simplify. 
So we have 36, this is minus 28, this is 24, and this is minus 16, this is 8, and this is 8. So since we reduced it to something that's always true, we can feel confident that this is the correct answer, and so 6 would go in our box here.